Hi, Dr. Bear here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some time-saving tips for licks. Maybe you saw my previous video, which I'll link in the description. In this video, I want to help accelerate things for you so that you can do things like derivations and put in pictures in a fairly quick manner. Really, it comes down to using copy and paste and tab completion in smart ways. Well, tab completion goes without saying, but I can show you a couple of ways in which copy-paste really can help you accelerate things. We're going to start with a new Lix document, and we have to do a little bit of setup because I want to use some special symbols that are used in quantum mechanics. So we'll start by adding a package. In particular, we're going to add the bra-ket package, which allows the use of quantum mechanical bras and kets. So to do that, we click document and settings and if I click on the LaTeX preamble I can put in here packages I want to use so this use package bracket will allow me to use the quantum mechanical symbols that I desire so I'll click OK and now I can put in some text that will help us get started here so I'll start with a new section So to get some inline math, I'll use command M and to get a ket, I use backslash ket and then open brace. And those are the braces. I have a space to write something in here, so I'll put backslash psi and then space. Let's do that again. I can copy this, type and and then paste it. And now I can simply just change the inside of the ket, highlight it and type phi. Now let's write in a symbol for projection operator. I'm going to use the hat command. To get this subscript, by the way, I use underscore. And I use bra, and then open brace gets me the set of braces we want to show that the projection operator projects any vector onto ket psi. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor in here. Like to get this, you might recall that I used command M on my Mac or control M on a PC. Now I'm going to use command shift M and it's going to toggle that from a inline to a display equation. And since my cursor is here, I can also do command shift M and it'll toggle it back into an inline equation. But I want a display equation. And I'm also going to add something here. I'm going to add a label so I can cross reference this equation later. So I go to insert and label. Now I can type in here a name. And we can refer to this equation by that name later on. Okay, so. I've done this little bit of setup for a little problem that we'll make a derivation for. Let's preview it. And this is what the PDF looks like. You can see here the nice quantum mechanical symbols that I've put in. And there's equation one. Now let's show a little derivation. So I've type this introductory sentence and now I want a display equation so to do that command shift M or control shift M for a PC now I would like to use copy and paste to speed things up a little bit I copy the projection operator paste it in here ket phi you can use tab completion to finish that off and then I'm going to hit equals now I'm going to copy and paste and you think, okay, that's silly. Of course, that's true. But this is where copy paste makes things nicer. So I'm going to delete this projection operator on the right hand side, put in a parentheses group, and then I'm going to copy and paste from above in equation one. It's always helpful to save and check things. So I'm going to close this so we can see a, a newer version. Let's save this file. I'll save it in a folder that I have pictures in. 
we'll add those later. I'm going to call this licks tips. I already have a file in there, but that's okay. I'm overwriting it. So let's preview it. Here's our new preview. And we want to carry this derivation a little bit further. So to do that, I'm going to make it a multi-line equation. So I put my cursor somewhere here and then a command shift return or enter. And now I get a new couple set of boxes below here. And I'll copy from the equals to the rest of it here on the, on the right hand side. Let's try that again. And then I'll paste it. And now we'll manipulate it a little bit more. So I'll copy this ket bra. We'll paste it. I'll save it. Thanks to Lix, you can see what this is going to look like. Let's do the command shift enter or control shift enter again. We'll copy this line and paste it. And then the next thing I want to do is combine this bra ket here into one. So how can I do that? I can just change this. I have to be careful where I place the cursor. If you note very closely, right now the cursor shows this little corner here and a corner here. So I'm working with this expression bra. I need to make sure that the cursor is in that area so those little corners show. And then I put in here ket. And then let's get rid of this other ket. Let's delete the, or let's cut the fee. Let's paste it in here. And I'm going to preview it. And you can see how this is shaping up. It's missing the bar between the psi and the phi, so let's put that in. I'll just type the pipe. And now I'll copy and paste again. Save, preview. Here's the preview. Here's how our derivation is shaping up. I'll show you a cross-reference. This is something I like to do. Right here, in this step, I went from projection operator to this ket bra and I used equation one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this equal sign and I'll instead I'll put stack rel tab completion and then space. So this gives me two boxes, one over the other. I'll put equals in the lower box and then a parentheses group in the upper box and now I'll insert a cross reference. And here I can choose references that I put in or labels. I only have one so far, so I choose the one I put in. So I've given my reader a little cue that I'm using equation one to go from this thing on the left to the thing on the right. I'll put in a period and then we'll write some text here. And I'm going to copy and paste from above. And we have a little bit of an explanation that helps the reader with this brief derivation. Okay, so I showed you how to make multi-line derivations. Now let's show you how to add pictures and make it quick. So let's add a new section. And then I have to turn this into a new section. I'll add some text. So the formally nice way to put in a picture is to put insert. So I go to the float menu and then a figure. And it gives me this placeholder for a figure. And this is the caption. And we put the cursor, you can move it to the left of this caption box. And this is the insertion point for our graphic. So we go insert, graphics, and I'll click browse. And we start in the same folder I was working in. I'm gonna put in here this Picard picture. So usually it works best if I double click and then the name shows up and then I can hit OK. And here's my picture of Captain Picard. So let's just preview it. It's put my picture here. There are some problems with this. First off, it's too wide. I can adjust that by double clicking here and I will click set width and we'll make it say three inches. Also now it's to the left, we want this to be centered. So I put the cursor to the right of this picture. I have to make this bigger so that I have room to put the cursor here and then right click. And now I've got paragraph settings. Here I'll click center, hit OK. There it is, that's a little bit better. 
Let's also add a reference. So we go insert label and let's put here Picard. And I'll type some text with a reference. Now for the cross reference. I'm going to save this preview. Here's the text. And there's our picture of Captain Picard. Now, LaTeX or Lix puts pictures wherever it pleases. There are ways around that. So one thing I might want to do is right click this float figure and I hit the settings. And instead of using the default placement, I uncheck it and then I'll put here, here if possible. That's a pretty good one. And if that's not strong enough, then use here definitely. But let's see how that goes. I'll save it, preview it again. Okay, so now let's put it here, which is better. We like that. So there were a lot of steps to make sure this figure was the way we wanted it. Now I'll show you that adding another figure is actually a lot easier. This is where copy paste helps and it makes things fast. So let's add another picture. So to do this, I need to just select this picture. So I'm using my mouse to select it. You could use your shift and your arrow keys. That's fine too. Now I use copy. So I use command C or control C. And then down here, I'll put my cursor at a new desired insertion point and then command V or control V. Now this little box is saying, hey, you're copying and pasting this same picture. Well, it has a label in it that's getting pasted, but there's already a fig Picard. So the new one is going to get fig Picard dash one because really all the labels should be unique. So I'll just say, okay, that's fine. I can change it later. So this is where it gets fast because instead of having a second picture of Captain Picard, I'll double click this and I'll click browse. And then now I'll click the Yoda picture. And so the Yoda name's there and I'll hit okay. And there's Master Yoda. And then I can change the caption as I desire. And to change the label, all I need to do is double click and then I can change this. And then I'll put the reference in here. Selecting Master Yoda. And let's preview. Okay, so we have our picture of Captain Picard and then our picture of Yoda and our inline derivation. One more thing I'd like to show you. You might notice here that the margins of this are annoyingly large. That's because LaTeX is a very old system and the default margins are for a book sort of layout where you need large margins on the left or the right depending on which side is toward the binding. But we can change that to something that's maybe more natural to a PDF. Again, we go document settings and I'm going to add a new package. This is the quick way to do it. There's a longer way to do it. The long way is to go here to the page margins and you can uncheck this and then specify new margins, but I'll show you the easy way is to go to the preamble and instead of just using bracket, well, we'll continue to use it, but I'll copy and paste. And now we'll also add a new package geometry. And we need to specify some options. We'll put here margin equals one inch like this. I hit OK save it and now the margins are one inch all around and it all fits on one page so those are some tips that i hope will save you some time often the first instance is time consuming but if you copy and paste it other instances become fast and then you can make multi-line equations in a very nice way i hope that was helpful to you I hope it accelerates your licks work. If you found the video helpful, please like it, subscribe, have a nice day. Thank you.